welcome to day three. I am so glad you remembered to meet me down at the vegetable garden because we have got a lot of work to do. Did you bring your work gloves? There is always so much weeding with the garden. Maybe that's why I don't have a garden. Well, not to mention maybe the seeds don't grow either. I was little, we had stopped at a hamburger place. We were um, on a little family vacation. My sister, she was probably four or five. She's sitting at the end of the table and she's very meticulously taking off the sesame seeds off of her hamburger bun. And my mom said, tell me, what are you doing? And she said, I'm going to go home and plant hamburgers. Well, needless to say, my seeds grow just about as good as her hamburger seeds grew. So we are going to do a paper garden today. So I can't wait to take off these work gloves so we can really get busy. And some of you may really enjoy gardening and I'm so glad because you sure do raise yummy food. But a thing I want to remind us, going back to our little um, summer camp honor code. Number two, take time. Life needs more fireflies and front porch moments. I just want to make sure that we are not spending so much time doing things that we forget to appreciate the little things that happen in our lives. I don't have um, a front porch and I don't even have fireflies at my house, but I can still take times to enjoy those moments. So today I love our card. The first one we're going to work on, I think is so fun. It's called I'm Rootin' For You. Before we get into that a little bit more though, I will show you what supplies we are going to use. So we have our new card cutout number 84 and card cutout 94. Now this is somewhat similar to our maybe card cutouts 40, 41, 42, but they do not have the little um, greenery that go around them, which just adds a really nice touch for the cards we're working on today. But I do love how they frame our um, cards that we're working on. And then we're going to be using our wooden, wooden farmhouse tags again. And we have a new soup, a new soup. We do have a new soup. It's called our chicken noodle recipe on chalkboard. And then we'll have our um, lilac watercolor dot envelope wraps. And then our envelope today I think is so cute our gingham on one side, and then we have our jumbo leaves in the uh, mini stripes. And I'll just show you quick how cute those look together. So I don't have it assembled so we could examine it together. So you can see here the leaf mm -hmm. interior, and then you'll want to fold in these flaps first, and of course you're going to adhere them. And then you can play around with um, folding the flap down a little bit more if you want. But look how cute that is. And then look how cute the little lilac watercolor dots, how cute that will be. So let's just quick and I'll show you what it looks like. It's just as cute if you use the reverse side, just so you can have a feel for it. Now, if you want more information about our um, the DIY envelopes, you can watch week one and we go through all of that and how to use our envelope guide for making folding a little bit easier. But look how cute that is. And that would go cute with our card as well. So whichever side you want to show out, that's what you get to do. The choice is all yours. So our card here, I have got everything cut out already. So I'll set those things aside. Okay, and I've got all of my pieces. I just wanted to make a few little um, notes here on this card cutout in particular. These have the, um, the leaves, the stems for the carrots. They're detached so you can add them like I've done here, giving a little more dimension. Or there's a carrot here if you're in a hurry. You could just cut it all out as one piece. Now, you could cut those off and you could cut it off the radishes too and go ahead and do it as two pieces as well. So it's whatever you're, the look you would prefer. So let's start with our card. 
I just took an eight and a half by 11 paper and um, cut it in half, eight and a half by five and a half. And then I have folded it in half. So that will be the base of our card. And then I love this new little um, rectangle that we have with the greenery around it. It just seems so fitting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere that to my background or to my card. And I'm just using the double-sided tape, but you use whatever adhesive that you have available or that's your favorite to work with. And then I have my little radish cut out and I am going to go ahead and use mounting tape with my radish just to give a little more a little more dimension and I'm going to leave some space down here to add the I'm rooting for you and in fact we could go ahead and add that now but I do want to show you a little different technique if you notice this one here there are kind of some roughed up edges and I've left just a little bit of the canvas showing through from the background because that'll just kind of define our edge a little bit more and now I'm just taking my fingernail and I am just kind of scrubbing along that edge and just kind of distressing it a little. Some of you will probably do a much better job because you can see my fingernails are not the best, but they're good enough. So you can see I've just kind of distressed this edge, but I think that is really perfect when you're talking in gardening language. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that on here now because I do want to be able to position our other um, items around it the way we'd like. So I just cut a little bit of mounting tape. Now as I've said before, you can use whatever mounting tape you want. In fact, I've even been known to take cardboard and cut it up and just use my double-sided tape to create that dimension. Just hook some cardboard in there. Okay, so I'm just adding that a little bit. And now, for the carrots, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to position how I want these to look. with each other and now I am going to use just my regular tape and I'm going to just hook them together a little extra tape there this way I am not trying to hold everything together and now I am going to just use some double-sided tape you could use mounting tape as well and I'm going to put it on the back because I want my um, whoops I want it to be on the top of this because I want them to be behind my carrot. So they're like coming up through the carrot. I'm just going to go ahead and stick that in like that. Look how cute that is. And look, you know, I was just thinking about it. It'd be so cute if you put on a little orange or green button there. That would just be a nice little finishing touch. And I kind of like where the carrot maybe comes down and overlaps the sign a little bit, the little sentiment that we have. So I am just going to use a long skinny piece of mounting tape. Now I don't hook everything down just like every little spot because I kind of like how the leaves can create their own dimension just because they're not on the same level as the, everything else. So you could kind of curl these up if you wanted. You could bend them in a little bit, just adding that little more dimension. And now we have our turnip ready. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more mounting tape. Oh, but before I hook it on, I really need to add my little leaves here. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Now notice when I cut those out, I left a little extra space whatever was available so I have more working room when I'm hooking them together. So I have them positioned how I want in the front. I'm just turning them over. I'm going to use just my little regular tape to hook those together and now I am going to position 
And I'm going to use this mounting tape that's already here because it'll give a little more dimension to um, my little turn up here. So this time I used the mounting tape and you see there's just a little more definition or dimension there, which I think is really a fun addition. But I'm going to have to need, I'm going to need a little bit more mounting tape since my the green we covered all of it up so I'll just stick another piece on position it on here and I like when it breaks the edge of the the background or the edge of the card so however you like that positioned and you could tuck this little turn up underneath the little I'm rooting for you if you wanted but you can see how quick and easy you could arrange those card those veggies no weeding needed to create just a darling card. I also want to, <clears throat> excuse me, to show you when you are cutting out the carrot, these little roots that are there, you could cut those off if you don't want the little detail of that. So quick and easy. Now I wanted to show you what else you can do using these veggies. And with the abundance growing in your garden, this would, these would be darling tags if you're going to take a little handful of carrots or beans or whatever to your neighbors. Okay, so coming back here to our card cutout number 94. I love this greenery, but you might look at this one and say, what am I going to do? with that smaller piece. Well, before we build our tag, I'm just gonna show you a quick idea of something that you might do and how fun it would be. Took onto some carrot bread, carrot cake, what am I thinking, carrot bread? But look, look how cute that carrot is, just arranged on that long little tag. And then you could add the little sentiment that says, thanks a bunch. But look how cute and easy. Punch a little hole in it, it's as cute as can be. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and create our tag here. And it's so simple. I am just adding, I've cut out the wooden tag and I cut away to the brown edge. So it is only the tag. You don't have any of the border. And I think I do want to use mounting tape again. And I am just going to, well, actually, I think I will use just double sided tape on this. Something I like about the double-sided tape, I don't have to worry about the exact dimension. I put on as much as I need. If there's extra, I just fold it over. Now, I'm just doing the double-sided tape because it is going to give me another layer. So as I add my radish, I can use mounting tape with it and it will um, just pop. So I'm going to go ahead and add my thanks a bunch first. because the radish is kind of sitting on top of that. And now I will use my mounting tape on my radish. And I can have that overlap a little bit, which I think that's kind of fun. You can um, crinkle up your leaves a little bit, give a little more dimension there. Now, so simple, all you would need to do is punch a hole and then you can use the jute to um, create your little hanging thing. And then I thought, I think this little bow here is just a nice little finishing touch. But have you tried making tiny bows like that? So I thought I would show you a little trick about that. It is so easy and you will love it. So all you'll do is take your piece of ribbon. Now normally I would just tie it. I would just work from it off the spool. So I wouldn't bother cutting a little piece. It makes it actually a little harder to work with. So I am just making two bunny ears. Now I am just folding, crossing them over each other and tying those into a knot. And you might look at that and say, yeah, that's great, but I wanted a little one like that. And so all you need to do is you pull this tail and you pull this tail 
and you can make them just as itty bitty as you wanted. Now this one was actually made with a smaller piece of jute and so if you're wanting to work with a smaller piece and you don't have any, all you need to do is simply untwist your jute. We can use the same technique, two little bunny ears, just like when you're teaching your kids to tie shoes before Velcro was invented. You cross them and tie a little knot and then you just use the tails to size your bow. And look how teeny you can get. I mean, you can make them so teeny. And then just simply trim the tails to the size you would like. And look how easy it is to create that tiny bow. Then you'll just use like a glue dot or your adhesive to um, adhere that. Whoa! Adhere that onto your card. So look how quick and easy it is to make that tag. It is so fun. This is my kind of card. I think I do much better in the paper garden than in my dirt garden outside. But I'm going to keep trying because it is fun to, to accomplish new things and to learn new things. So thank you so much for stopping by. I can't wait. Tomorrow we are going to meet out in the fields of sunflowers. Have you seen them? They are so beautiful as I drive by. I cannot wait. I'll see you then.